Hey, how's everybody doing? Welcome back to Ask That Podcast on YouTube. Y'all know me, yeah. You know. I love my comic books. I love my comics that ain't standard size. You know, they're thicker than normal. Or, you know, they're taller, bigger. You know, the Treasury Editions and the Archie Digest size. And your trades and your Harvard covers and your oversizes and your undersizes and your manga size. This is a neat little one, and I've kind of forgotten about it. Um... The mind behind Sleeve Magazine, and it was a weird, weird world publishing, Bat 32, sent me something. He's like, hey, look what I found. And I thought it was these. Was little Spider-Man coming? He goes, no, they came away with the New York Post or something. And we argued about friends. I know you showed me. I was like, oh, so I went and found, I was like, I gotta go find mine, so I wanna show them. What this was, this is Spider-Man Dr. Octopus. This is a reprint, you know, slip cover, Reprint of Spider-Man 3, 4, and 5. Issues 3, 4, and 5. So we got Dr. Octopus, Sandman, and Dr. Doom. This came out in like 2005-ish. Uh, they were around. They were out. Unless my... Unless... Because I, I was not going to the comic shop that often at the time. Unless they just had them out for a long time. They were, came out around Halloween. Because I remember the guy saying, Yeah, you know. Telling somebody was in there when I was getting my comics. He's like, Yeah, you know. You, you buy enough, we can get them to you cheaper. Or you can get them out at Halloween which is what I ended up doing. I bought enough where I got them for 50 cents a pop. And every kid that came up got one of these. I bought, uh, this is back when Dollar Trees were just over-fucking-loaded with those cheap uh, dollar DVDs of cartoons. If you buy that stuff in bulk through Dollar Tree, back then you could get stuff for, like, almost at their cost, which was... I think I was having to pay 30 cents for each one of those, and then I'd throw in, you know... A little bit of candy and boom, I had badass trick treat bags for the kids. Let's check this out. Now, of course, you know, Amazing Spider-Man 3, 4, and 5, that's uh, Ditko and Steve Ditko, Stanley, Stanley here. So we got the cover here, and we got what? America's most exciting superhero, captured by the world's most dread, dreaded supervillain. You're a helpless Spider-Man, I warn you that the power of Dr. Octopus is far greater than yours. A book fleet super thriller, Spider-Man faces his most powerful, powerful foe, Dr. Octopus. Can anything that lives defeat the mighty Dr. Octopus? We'll find out. And that was, you know, it's just black and white reprints. That gorgeous Ditko art. Yeah, black and white reprints of, look at that, that just looks so badass. Of, you know, the Spider Man issues, you know. Um, I don't, as far as I know, because I've never actually thumbed through an original. <laughs> I've seen, you know, these early Spider-Mans, original gym, pretty beat up, I've never got touched with them through, I've always read reprints. I don't think there was backups or anything. Right there. That was kind of neat. And there was, uh, like, two Spider-Man, like, this one and one that reprinted, like, the first, uh, Amazing Fantasy and Spider-Man 1 and 2, and there was, like, an FF one and, like, an Avengers, if I remember right. I know there, I'm pretty sure there was an Avengers. And I got, you know, X amount I kept, I, I'm pretty sure I thought I kept one of each for myself, but I, this is the only one I can find. Okay, this is, he's still playing Doc Ock. Oh, this is not one to stay up. Oh, look at this. Special surprise, bonus Spider-Man pin -up page. It's also a coloring page from your pal, Spider-Man. You can actually color that. Look at that. Just the, oh, man. Oh my god, I love this cover. Spider-Man. Hey, yeah, I've got you. Hey, what? Surprise? See why I'm called the Sandman? How can Spider-Man defeat a foe who cannot be injured? Don't dare miss. Nothing can stop. The Sandman. Look at him, he's just punching him. I love Ditko, or especially early Ditko on Spider-Man. Such great, great, great stuff. And then, you know, he, he's, you know, I like how he sticks to you know, fairly. You're going to at least get, you know, seven panels per page. Matter of fact, look at this one. You get three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He, he gives you nine on that page sheet. And this one might have a little count as a multiple one. Because I mean, it's one panel, but time progresses in it. Yeah, I never realized that's what the board is on board. The gutters represent time progressing. Yeah, he... Ditko knew how to cram a lot into these little stories because I don't think they had that many pages where they were Marvel Comics back then, like 20 pages probably. Well, this page is number 15 here, so let's see. Tw 
21. That's page 20. I love how we used to do it. So you get 21 pages back in the day for a dime. Are they 12 cents? No, they weren't even 12 cents by this. Really, really cool ass one. And the last one where he fights Dr. Doom, which is kind of neat because you know the first. The first pair of Spider Man, of course, Amazing Fantasy 15. The first issue of Spider Man is when he tr goes to try to join the Fantastic Four. So, hey, you know, Marvel throwing some continuity in there. You know, hey, we're going to have, you know, the Spider Man, you know, tries to join them. So, they're the same year, but then he ends up meeting with Dr. Doom. All right, Doc Ock has fought other, you know, Doc Ock for a while there. Wasn't he part of the Frightful Four? Wasn't he? I think in Dr. Ock was part the Sandman was, I know, so you know, Sandman, Spider Man film, he's crossover and fought the Fantastic Four, been an Avenger, and all kinds of stuff. That's what, That was cool about Marvel Continuity back in the day because people were not so uptight about it. And one thing contradicts them, they didn't freak the living hell out. And it wasn't as much, you know, they didn't have all the years and decades of stuff, you know. I like continuity, but that's because. You know, I like knowing the history and shit because. I love that panel. And even for a dollar back when these came out, these were pretty cool. And that's the only bad thing is that you know the last page is printed on that, but well thank you for Bat the Bat32 for getting me up off my ass finally getting me to do a video on this. But look at that. Anybody remember anybody know if they made did they make a Fantastic Four? I'm I know there had to be I know there's another Spider Man. I'm really sure there's an Avengers. I really clearly remember it. But I remember a Fantastic Four one. There was a time when I grabbed it, I was kinda like, uh, why did I keep one? I just picked up the Fantastic Four Essentials volume like one through four. So yeah, I've got them in bigger size. This is probably gonna go in the bathroom on the Back of the hampers, you know, you sit down and use the bathroom and do just Spider Man comic. Hope everybody enjoyed that. Remember, if you did, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe, all the other bullshit. Talk to everybody later. Bye bye.